Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm here today with my little uh, Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and we are going to make a card together today. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and talk to you about what's going on with Stampin' Up! And with me and Ellie, she is getting ready for St. Patty's Day. She is, and we are going to uh, make a St. Patty's Day card today. You know, I thought I've made one other one, I think, on our lives. But I thought, gosh, it's a week from this Friday, so if you actually wanted to mail or give anybody a St. Patty's Day card, probably you would need to make it right away. So I thought we'd do one today, because otherwise it might be too short of a time. You might not have enough time to get it in the mail. So let me just um, check online here and make sure we're, we're going live. Let's see. Let me check. Okay, it looks like we are. Renee, good to see you from Columbus, Ohio. Thank you for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Ellie has a very large bow. We got some new bows for Ellie, really, really big ones and many, many colors. So I think we're, hi Tina, I think we're kind of good for a while. She's thinking about taking her nap from Granite Falls, North Carolina and Ohio. Good, good to see you guys. Look at her, she's ready for her nap. It's, she, I just don't know what to say. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Linda. Good to see you guys. Let me just see if I can get her up here a little bit. Can you say hi to everybody? They're all right over here. See right here? See right up here? There they are. Yeah. Tammy is my neighbor. Allison is kind of my neighbor. She lives near, not too far. So we are just getting ready for... Um, St. Patty's Day. I, I'm thinking about. Um, don't you don't you cook um, corned beef and cabbage? Is, isn't that a St. Patty's Day meal? Thank you, Tina. I think that's a St. Patty's Day meal. If I don't, if I if I remember right, my mom used to always make um, corned beef and potatoes and cabbage on St. Patrick's Day. Um, I don't know if I'll make that or not. I need to. I haven't had corned beef for a long time. How are you doing, sweetie? You're just so falling asleep right there, aren't you? Well, we have really a lot to talk about today. We really do. Let's see. We've got seven on here. Um, she does look sleepy. <laughs> it is. Okay, I was right. Thanks. Uh, thank you, uh, Linda. And Tracy, good to see you today. Thanks for coming by. It's a Wednesday, and um, it, we it's the middle of the week. Tomorrow, I am going um, to a tea. I'm going to a tea room tomorrow to have a lovely tea. I haven't told her yet, though, but my husband will be home. She'll be home with, with my husband. You're just such a sleepy girl today. Vicki, good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I don't know what to do to get her a little more lively. Um, I'll, I'll ask my husband and see if we can figure out something to get her a little bit more lively. <laughs> so, um, have you all heard about the color refresh? I hope you have. Let's put her face around where you can see it. The color refresh is coming up um, with the new annual catalog, right baby? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put her down because she is just ready to hi Kay good to see you Tammy you're sleepy too I know <laughs> the middle of the afternoon we do just get a little sleepy let me just move that up just a bit there okay so <clears throat> I've got a lovely thank you Kay for sharing I've got a lovely list of some things um, to share first I'll show you my card just so you know what we're gonna make later and you, you don't go away. We're gonna make a shamrock milkshake card. Um, this was um, brought up to me by one of my one of my demos, one of my downline, and she showed me one 
um, at our class this past weekend, and I said, I have got to make that card. <coughs> so we are going to make a shamrock milkshake using the Shara milkshake um, stamp set and dies. Put a mirror near the camera for her to look at. That's a great idea, Allison. And Linda makes Irish soda bread. Oh my gosh, now that sounds actually a little better than corned beef and cabbage. Maybe I'll try it. Thanks, Tina. Yeah, we'll make the card shortly. And you know, you can use the same principles for any color that you want. If you don't want to make a green milkshake, you could make another color milkshake, like a lemon milkshake. Okay, so what do we need? Um, so what do we want to talk about? The color refresh. I'm super excited about it. In fact, I was looking at pulling out some of my colors for today for the card and I was thinking, I wonder if any of them are going to go, you know, I wonder what's going to go out and what's going to stay in. So demonstrators find this out on March 29th, which is, wow, three weeks from today. Pretty exciting. Or yeah, one, two, three, three weeks from today. Wow, so by, hopefully by the time I come on on that day, I'll, I don't know if I can tell you. I think I talked about this before, but um, hopefully I can tell you. But I did want to mention, you know, those of you who aren't uh, demonstrators, you have to wait. I mean, probably we will tell you at some point when we can, but if you see, I'm just the type of person that I like to know everything right away. I want to know the earliest possible. And so you can join a Stampin' Up! right now. You can get the starter kit right now. It costs $99 and you get $125 worth of product. And if you join before March 29th, you could find out the colors the same time I do. It's going to be very exciting. Just had to say that. Okay, so. Mark that down, the new catalog is coming out for customers on May 2nd. You can begin to order, and I'll be showing you as much as I possibly can prior to that. We get to pre-order, I think, starting April 4th, so about a month from now, and I'll be getting everything I possibly can. You know how I am. Um, let me just take a little sip of water. Because I have shown so much to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and turn you down just so I can show you some stuff. Let's see, hold on. There we go, no, okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, online exclusives. I wanted to talk about those again. I know last um, time I was on, I think it was last Wednesday, I mentioned that um, about the circle punches, and I think they're both back. These dots will not be coming back. I don't, well, I don't know, but they're not, we have no date for them coming back. But the beautiful Hello Irresistible um, paper um, and the Irresistible Blooms bundle now online and I've mentioned before if you don't know that it's kind of like Amazon okay in this way that you don't know you don't have a catalog for Amazon you go on Amazon and you see what's there and if you want want it you buy it so that's how the online exclusives are they're online you go on there you see what the online exclusives are if you want them you get them and if they're in stock they're online okay Naturally Gilded um, Designer Series paper. I don't have that yet, but I'm getting it. Uh, it's on the way. In fact, they, it's, it's been shipped. Um, the beautiful 3D, 3, 3D embossing folders, which I'll be using. The Classic Letter Stamp Set, not dies, but a stamp set. I've already seen some of these. I don't know if you have. The Rhino Ready Bundle. Oh my gosh, it's super cute super cute okay so the two inch punch uh, circle punch um, has always been available and the one and three quarters was out but I think it's back in so that's great we love circle punches this I'm get I'm have on the way to me the uh, tropical leaf bundle um, and you you can get it you know just go Click the link to my store and follow it to online exclusives. In fact, I think I even have actually the actual link that will get you to the online exclusives up there. Um, I know. <laughs> Brick and mortar store, Renee. I have actually never been in an Amazon store. I just use it um, online 
but it would be fun to go in. Okay, the gold and silver trim, I saw that on a card today, and I have that coming. Radiating stitches dies. Um, I've heard these are fabulous. I haven't really seen them in action. These I can't wait to get. They're on the way to me. Elegant border dies. Oh my gosh, you guys. The minute they come, I'm going to start making stuff. So you'll know when I get them. Carol Schaefer, hello from Connecticut. Okay, those are the online exclusives. Then I wanted to talk to you about my host code. This is my March host code. It's shown up above, whether if you're on uh, YouTube, it's down below. And if you place an order over $50 in my online store during the month of uh, March, I will. if you use the host code, I have to have you use that host code. I know it's some crazy letters, but it's you can see it up there and you can copy and grab it. I will send you as a gift to you the fabulous Fern 3D embossing folder. I didn't get it out today, but it is super neat. I'm just going to try to get it so you can see. It really is a great embossing folder. So if you want that embossing folder, get some of those online exclusives. Spend over 50 and I will send you, use that house code. Okay, the last thing I want of the news is um yes put prize put prize because i've got a good prize this week for that you if you put prize you'll get it next week okay so i wanted to remind you about my sampler the uh, the actual time for ordering i haven't really uh cut it off yet um i have a couple more kits available if you want the kits to make my sampler or if you want the pdf Email me directly, Peggy at prettypapercards.com, and ask me for the pre-order link, and I'll send it to you, and then you go to a link where you can pay and everything. The, um, the kit to make, you buy the frame, the white 12 by 12, or you can buy any color, brown, if you have at home a 12 by 12 frame. You have that. I don't provide that, and I don't provide the 12 by 12 backing, which is a piece of the 12 by 12 Abigail Rose designer series paper. But you can use any designer series paper or you can use the back of, you know, that white cardboard that comes, a kind of a light cardboard in a designer series paper 12 by 12. You can flip that over and you can use that as a back to a sampler. Um, so I don't provide that. And then this is just some washi tape that I put on that I had around. And I, I think I told you this the other day. I put it on here so I would know where these three by three squares should hit. And then I liked it so much I just left it. So if here are all the squares. So what I send you is everything cut out for the squares except the things that are for... Um, the few things that are the die use use the dies with the irresistible bloom set. So really it's this these little die things, but everything else you're going to get the paper, the hello irresistible paper, you're going to get everything cut out and all the squares ready to go. So email me peggy at prettypapercards.com and let me know that you are interested in whether you want well you, then you choose whatever you want on the link. Okay. All right, news is over. We are going to make a shamrock milkshake card today. Isn't that super cute? This milk, share a milkshake stamp set is really, really fun. I love it. And like I mentioned, I saw a friend, one of my downlines, she showed me one of these uh, when she was here the other day, and I changed it up a little bit and made it my way, you know, it's National Women's Day, so we can make it our way. That's just a joke. Okay, um, so let's see how we're going to make it. First of all, let me show you the stamp set and die set. If you don't have them, I say get them because it is too much fun. Um, this sentiment, celebrate. I used it on a card that I posted today on my blog. I like that sentiment. But not only does it make milkshakes in glasses, it makes sundaes. It has, you know, like that's the top of the sundae, but you could put this big top, which is really for the milkshake, but you could put that on there and have the sundae coming all over. Um, it's got, we're going to use this straw today. There are two, the straight straw and the striped straw. It has a little spoon 
Does anybody know what those are? I'll hold it up close. Maybe some of you know. Are they like almonds or something? I don't know what those are, and I haven't used this one either. That's a different Sunday dish. It has a cute cherry we're going to use today, and it has hearts we're going to use today. So love, love, love this set. And here are the dies, and we're going to use this today, or I've already, I'll show you in a short minute. Um, everything else I think cuts out stuff that's in here, but this is a neat backing piece, and then this is a waffle cone. I've used it personally, but I don't think I've used it online um, with you guys, but it is super cute. So an adorable, adorable set. Okay. And we're going to use two interesting papers that I wanted to show you. Um, if you'll notice, do you see this gold here? Okay, this is from the paper called Like an Animal. Now, I think it comes 12 by 12, but I have mine cut down to 6 by 6. Like an Animal. It's lots of animal prints in gold and silver, like there's a zebra. This is a giraffe. Um, that, maybe a leopard. It's really beautiful. And... I decided to use it as a background a background piece. Do you see that coming out, that gold? I think it's kind of nice as a background piece. It, it doesn't, nobody screams, you know, that's a giraffe or anything like that, like they would if they saw the whole. Oh, mint leaf, leaves, good idea, okay. Candy sprinkles, Becky, mint, um, okay, yes, great. Let me see, mint leaves, okay, definitely, definitely. I love asking candy sprinkles. Yep, I think I think you guys are right. I just haven't used them. Okay, so that is the like an animal paper. And then for that, um, um, you know, crosshatch kind of thing, I'm going to use, I wanted to show you in advance. This is the, is the 2022 death dash 2024 in color glimmer paper. And I've, the only colors I have left are um, Tahitian Tide and I think this is Starry Sky. Oh, wait a minute. That must be the, um, the purple one. Uh, the, what is it called? Um, Orchid Oasis, yes. But I used up all the, um, I, I, you know, you guys know I have, I'm waiting to get a cataract surgery. I'm having so much trouble seeing, even with my glasses on. Um, oh yes, yeah, sweet sorbet. Those are all used up. And I had this little scrap of um, parakeet party, so I used that, and we're going to use that behind our shake. But anyway, this is gorgeous paper. And these colors, these colors will be continuing into next year. So um, I just wanted to encourage you, if you don't have, have this, I, I don't know if the glimmer paper will, but the colors will. So just, just a heads up on that. But I've really enjoyed this paper. Okay, so let's get out what we're gonna, our card base and the way we're gonna start. Put my little sample there. I'm using as a card base, Garden Green. I thought it looked a little bit, kind of the most like, you know, a, a traditional green, the Irish green. I think you could probably use shaded spruce also, but I use this one. And then we're going to use this um, pattern from the Like an Animal paper, and I'm going to get out my... I trimmed most everything, but I, I thought I would trim this. So our card is 11 by 4 and a quarter and scored at 5 and a half. So I'm going to pull this piece in and cut it just a quarter of an inch less on all sides to put on the front of the card, four inches by five and a quarter. Okay, so this is going to be what is going to go behind our milkshake. And the one thing about when you have paper that has foil on it, you want to be careful because when you put glue behind the foil, it can make little lumps. So I know a piece is going to cover it, you know, our milkshake piece. So I'm going to put like a big circle here to glue it in the center. And we're going to just put it right there with and make sure our borders are about the same. 
because we can move it when I use the glue like that. And then what I'm going to do, so we've got the center and you see how it looks a little, you can really tell where you glued it. So I'm just going to go back on the corners and just put a, a little dot of glue right in there. I still think, I think our um, milkshake piece will cover it, but this will adhere it more where people don't see. Not right at the corner, but say about an, like a diagonal of an inch in. And this will keep this little uh, pretty foil piece. It's foil and vellum, and it'll keep it flat. See how I'm just putting a little dot right in there? Can you see that? And then press it down. So I don't think anybody will see the glue. So that is handled. Okay, now what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to do a little stamping. We are going to stamp our milkshake and our ice cream that's coming up over the top. So the milkshake, I'm going to go ahead and stamp in garden green to go with our card base. I think I need this one. This is just a scrap of basic white cardstock and garden green ink. And what I'm going to do, make sure I get enough on there. Okay. I'm, I don't have a foam. I'm not using a foam behind it, but this is foam. So I'm going to press down really hard and hope it covers the whole thing. If it doesn't, I can get out my foam pad and do it again. Nope, that worked. It actually comes out pretty dark, doesn't it? Okay, so there's our milkshake. And then we're going to use some parakeet party for the ice cream that's coming out. Now, the sample that I saw was, um, the sample that I saw, this is just a scratch piece on the back, was made out of using mint macaron and thinking of like mint ice cream. I don't know what this is. I'm thinking, I mean, I'm, I'm making it up, right? Because if you have a green milkshake, we're calling it shamrock milkshake. But I, so I don't know. I just thought this color looked pretty good. There. I think it just, I just think it looks pretty good. It's not as subdued as the mint. I wanted kind of a bright shade. And so the parakeet party is what I use, but I'm thinking maybe lime, lime aid or something. I don't know. So I'm going to get out my cute little mini and I'm going to get my dies. And we are going to cut these guys out. Here is the milkshake die. And we'll put our little milkshake, let me get it where you can see it, right up there. And at first I thought, you know, I wondered if the milkshake die would cover those little lines sticking out, and it actually does. So that's kind of neat. I kind of like it. It's a, a bit of an abstract situation there. So let's see here. I want to get that just right. Okay. Just takes a little bit of moving it about. Hopefully that'll come out right. Okay, and we'll just run that through. And remember, if you have a mini machine and you're having any trouble getting things to run through, just use the gray plate. Um, I had someone who I talked to about that the other day. Plate number three with the two number two clear plates, and you won't have any trouble at all. Okay, there's our milkshake. And now we're going to cut our uh, lime ice, lime, I don't know. I thought they had just lime sherbet, lime sherbet, but I don't even know what. Maybe, um, I don't know. What are some other ice creams that could be this bright green color? I really don't know, but I'm sure it would be delicious for our milkshake. Matcha. I like it. Matcha, Tammy. Great idea. Great idea. Okay, and here is our ice cream that goes at the top. So let's set this aside. And we can start to put our card together. Okay, so here's our card base. We'll pull this back. 
and I have pre-cut some other things um, just to save time. So this is our backing piece, and you see what I mean? Once you get it on there, you don't see those wrinkles at all. And then we're going to have this white piece, basic white. And then here is the Parakeet Party Glimmer that I cut. Isn't that pretty, that crosshatch? Then we're going to have the milkshake. Then we're going to have the ice cream. And then I've got cherries and straws here. I have two of each in case I thought, well, if one got lost, I'd have double. So I think the first thing I'm actually going to do is just work with my white piece because I also want to stamp my sentiment on here and some hearts. So I'm going to work with this first. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which is celebrate in my garden green. And I'm going to stamp it right along the bottom there. And that'll help me know where to position my milkshake. Okay, so celebrate. It's a little dangerous, but you know, because you know, in case you could get it crooked or something or mess up, but I thought, you know what? I got plenty of white paper. So don't worry, just enjoy. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to put it right down here and I have to put my head over to just get it, see if I can get it straight there. It's a pretty easy sentiment to get straight. There, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And I think I'm going to leave my hearts and not um, stamp those until we adhere our, the rest of our stuff. <coughs> you know, we are very dry here. I'm having a little cough. Our rain stopped in down here in Southern California, at least for now, and it's just very dry. Um, Ellie's been itching, we've been itching, you have dry throats and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so how do we adhere our crosshatch piece? Um, we know we're going to have the milkshake right above it, so we can play in the center there and put some of our glue right on the back of it. And even if the glue comes out a bit, that's okay because we know it's gonna be covered. So I'm gonna put my crosshatch right there in the middle with the glue, that will secure it. And then I'm going to use two Stampin' Dimensionals for the milkshake. We don't need a lot. And we'll get that on top of the crosshatch. I really like the sparkly. I don't know if you can see that it's just really sparkly. Okay, so let's try to get this kind of centered in there. And the the dimensionals are gonna go over the um, crosshatch part, but that's okay. Now, before we put our ice cream on, I don't know if you can see, but the die itself has a little slit in there. Can you see that little slit? That is for your straw. Is that not clever? Okay, so let's take a straw and we're going to lift this up from the back and slide that little straw right in. Cute, right? Super cute. Yes, oh, pistachios. Yes, that's an idea. Okay, so the reason I'm putting the straw in, I'm going to bend it a little bit back, um, first is that I'm going to put a dimensional right behind it so that that will secure the straw. So I'm going to push it down in just a little bit more and we'll put a dimensional right on top of that, where right where the straw, you can see what I was making. I was doing something pink, which, whoops, come here dimensional. So I'm going to put that dimensional right on top of that and then I'll put another dimensional on the other side just like that okay and now we're ready to put our ice cream on top and we can just put it just a bit just like that okay and so the dimensionals are not on top of the milkshake they're up in this area now what else do we need a cherry on top I think I need to get let me just grab here a mini stamp and dimensional for that cherry there are my mini dimensionals. Okay, so let's put our little cherry on. Like I said, I cut these before, and one I kind of trimmed myself 
so it doesn't have as much white area. So I think I'm going to use this one because it has, it, I think the white around something that you die cut or cut uh, really sets it off. We're going to put our little cherry, whoops, that looks a little funny. Let's straighten this guy. Come here, little cherry. Okay. There we go. Isn't that just cute? I just love it. Okay, now we can see if we want to put some hearts on there. This is a little bit busier than my other card because we put the cross hatching. So there's this one stamp with three little mini hearts, which I think is so cute. That's so you could use it as a Valentine card. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just put them down here. Okay, that's pretty cute. And I don't know, I've got some gold, um, gold sequins. I think I'll save to put some gold sequins in those areas. Now, one thing I forgot, and now I need to, we need to do, and that is on the ice cream, there are little white, um, I don't know if you can see them, they've left some little white area for sprinkles. So I got out my uh, stamp and blend, my light evening evergreen, because I don't know if they make garden green that we're using, but I don't have them. I thought I had all of them, so they may not make them. But let's see. So I'm going to just put some little dots right in here to make it look like the sprinkles. And some can be a little bit bigger. We just need some little dark green sprinkles. I'll put a couple sprinkles over there. Isn't that kind of cute? I think that adds a lot to it. Okay, now I think this part is done. So we're ready to adhere this with uh, glue to the garden green backing. So this piece, um, let me get my, my old timey ruler. This piece, the white piece, if you're taking measurements, is four and a half by three and a quarter. And then the garden green piece is just a quarter of an inch larger. So four and three quarters by three and, three and a half. Three and a quarter is the white one. Three and a half is the garden green. I hope I said that right. So we're just going to add a little bit of glue, our multi-purpose liquid glue, my favorite adhesive. And we're going to just put this right on here. And then we'll lift it up and make sure the borders all look good. Move it just a hair bit. Okay. And now we're ready to adhere it to the front of our card. We have our celebrate, we have our sentiment. Okay, so let's use some large dimensionals, well, regular size dimensionals for the back here. Stick on there. And then we're also going to put a piece of white on the inside because this uh, garden green is quite dark and we want to make sure we have a place to write inside. So we're going to take care of that in just a second. We'll do our inside and our envelope. Um, I think I'm going to stamp cherries because hearts seem more like um, Valentine's Day, right? Yeah, so I think we'll do some cherries on those. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy just even here. Doesn't that look cute with that gold uh, animal print background? I think it kind of does. Okay, so here is our piece for the inside of our card. And let's stamp a few cherries in there. Where's my little cherry stamp? Hmm. Here it is. Okay. This little cherry is just too cute. You know, sometimes I just think I should just keep out all the little stamps, not with their sets, but just kind of keep them out and like little baby bees, little baby cherries, just so cute to use for whatever you want. And here is our envelope. Now on the other envelope, I don't know if you noticed, but I put cherries all along the bottom. I thought that was kind of cute. 
So let me see if I can do that again. I, I'm always afraid I'm going to smear or something, so let's try it. Just a little row of cherries. And you know, I was trying to think of um, who would I send this to. So I know I have one friend I'm going to send it to, and I'm going to end up with two cards. I have some friends who are Scottish. Maybe you guys, I was going to ask the wife because it's the husband mostly who's Scottish. And maybe you guys know, do the Scots, if he's Scottish, would he celebrate? Do you think he would celebrate um, St. Patrick's Day? Because that's Irish. We talked about that last week or one week, I think. So let me know what you think. Would it be appropriate to send a St. Patrick's Day to a Scottish people or person, or maybe their enemies? I don't know. So I think I should get the uh, etiquette on that before I send a card, because I don't want to get in trouble. Like, we hate the Irish, why did you send me a card? Does anybody know? Hi, Carol. The animal DSP, it's called Like an Animal. Yeah, Like an Animal. And it's all kinds of animal patterns, but it actually looks pretty good right behind, just like that, right behind a, um, something else. Okay, now we're going to add, these are pastel adhesive backed sequins. And I thought the gold looked really good because it brings in the gold from the paper. So I'm going to put, um, let's see, I think I'll put one big one down here. And then they, you, they come with a package of their gold and, I don't know, that looks like, that looks like Blushing Bride. I'm not sure. And maybe Balmy Blue. Um, but anyway, I think they're great. And I like the fact that they're adhesive. And then we'll put one there and maybe a little mini one right next to it. Kind of like that. Okay, there's our card for today. I'm really excited. I hope I'm going to... Everyone celebrates St. Patrick's Day in the U.S. Okay, so if I sent one, I'm going to confirm with his wife because I, he's quite very Scottish and has like a, you know, a kilt or like a thing of his family and everything. So I don't want to do the wrong thing. Um, I'll get back to you on what they say because I don't want to offend Anyway, there's our cute little uh, St. Patty's Day card. I'll post. I'll be posting this tomorrow with the measurements and stuff. Yeah, true. Just like everybody said, celebrates uh, Cinco de Mayo. Great, great comment, Renee. I agree. So there's our cute little card. Okay, let's come back, and there we go, and we'll um, award our prize. So our prize from this week, last week actually, was three cards, and they were two cards with the um, the new Hello Irresistible uh, designer series paper and Irresistible Blooms stamp set. So there was this one plus an envelope, this one, which also is uses the same thing and opens this way, a set of three with an envelope. And then I, I threw in a cute little raccoon. I thought that was just so cute. So I, I just threw that little raccoon card in. So all three of those are going to go to our winner. And our winner is Kay Phipps. Kay, I'm so glad you won. I pulled your name. The random number generator uh, pulled your name. And I was so excited. So, Kay, and I know some of you have been waiting a long time for your prize. I'm just bad on mailing, but truthfully, I'm mailing them all out today, um, and I'll mail Kay's three cards out today also. Um, I'm mailing the Easter, the Easter kits out, so if you signed up for the Easter card kits, um, they're all going out in the mail. Um, I think the postman will be coming to pick them up tomorrow, but I'm putting all the postage, doing all that today. So those are going out. And then next week, go out all the kits for the sampler. Okay, so next week's prize. So I did all the Easter kits, and this was one of the cards. And I don't know why, but I made a couple of extra kits for this particular card. I don't know why. I had two extra kits. 
and each each kit for this card makes two. Now the sentiment on here and the palm branches are from the Rejoice in Him stamp set. But of course, if you don't have that, you don't have to use that. You can use another Easter sentiment and some other leaves. But it's a cute little fun fold card. So I had two kits left. So um, it has everything, including the this die cut piece for your sentiment and enough paper to cut out um, these uh, palm branches. And I will send the PDF along with it for this one card and so these are two card kits it was actually um i numbered them i had four car card designs so two of kit number one i've got them all tied up here so it's everything you need to make four of these cards and that will be the prize for next week so if you want two card kits enough to make four easter cards and i thought it will still be time because we'll award it on the 15th. Next Wednesday will be the 15th. And uh, Easter isn't until April 9th. So you'll have some nice card kits to, um, to send. I don't know why I made two extras. I don't know what I was thinking that day. So um, I hope you like this prize. And so if you put prize today, either on Facebook Live, on my Facebook here, or on YouTube, um, you'll be entered to win this. And Kay is going to get these mailed out tomorrow. These, uh, let's see, where's are they all three showing? Yeah, all these three cards. So thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you have a nice rest of your week. I'll be back on Friday with more card fun. My new online exclusives are on the way, so if they're here, we will be using them for sure. I hope they are. Okay, you guys 